Hi, thanks for visiting my tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to center an object on a page using a little bit of HTML and CSS and so that when you land on a page, um, say you have a coming soon banner that you want to center perfectly in the middle, uh, when you land on the page it'll always be in the middle no matter how big your screen is or if you uh, resize um, like I'm doing now, it'll always stay on the page. For time's sake, I'm not going to type anything out. You can go ahead and pause the video if you'd like to copy things down, but I'm going to just kind of point to things and show you how they work. So in front of you is the actual code to all of the functionality and all of what you see that's going on in the page here. At the top you can see the opening HTML tag and the opening head tag. Just below it you see the title tags, the new site coming soon. Of course you can make that or uh, say, make that to say whatever you want. Just below that we have the uh, jQuery link and the JavaScript. Don't worry about that. And just below the JavaScript here, you can see all the CSS encapsulated in, in between the style type tags here. This is basically all the styling, all the boxes, the div tags, uh, which is basically this rectangular box, coming soon box. Um, anything visually that you see that's happening on this page is in this upper part of the header code and all the CSS. This is what uh, makes um, uh, visually what makes uh, the whole body kind of uh, work. And just below the header of all the CSS, you have the actual body. Um, this is where all the div tags rest. Um, basically, the body containers that hold all of the content that you'll be placing within the banner and all the boxes. And after all the closing div tags, you'll of course see the closing body tag and the closing HTML tag. So, let me just go ahead and explain everything. So, you, when you first start coding the CSS, you'll go ahead and uh, type out body. As you notice, you don't really need a uh, hashtag or a number sign before the body. It just kind of knows that um, it's going to be working on the body. So, I gave a width of 100%, height of 100%, margin equals zero, auto, semicolon, and display none. Don't worry about this display none. I use that for the jQuery, so you don't have to have display none if you want, uh, automatically want the body to show when you land on the page. Just below it, I have a tr trans underscore bg div. Um, this one has a hashtag in front of it because it's an actual div ID. Uh, but basically, this is, as you can see, the dark gray border is the, the background that kind of encapsulates the whole entire body of the whole entire page that you land on. Background of zero, uh, three zeros is basically black. The reason why it's gray is because I put a 50% uh, filter on it, as you can see down here. Um, this is the code to make it kind of transparent to a 50%. Um, I put a width of 100%, height of 100%, margin um, is at zero, the auto, and then with a semicolon. The reason why you want to put a margin, colon, space zero, space auto, ending with a semicolon, is to basically kind of reset all the uh, margin origins right back into the zero position. Just below this I put the message underscore banner underscore spacer and of course notice the hashtag in front. This is basically the spacer that's right above the banner. Um, the reason why I coded it this way was because on a lot of browsers when you reset it to zero the banner, this light gray banner, is actually going to be in the middle, but it's going to be on the top. So I used a spacer with 30% with the margin of zero, auto, and text align center. It kind of centers everything out. And I'll explain a little bit more of that later. The message banner is the actual banner that encloses the text coming soon here. I use the position of relative background of CCC, which is gray, uh, a width of 600. As you can see, that's how wide it is. Um, a height of 300 pixels, margin of zero and auto, same thing, it's going to kind of reset everything to the center, text align center, that's pretty self-explanatory. Just below it I have the content text, um, that's basically just the text that you see here, the coming soon text. Uh, the padding top is 24% so it kind of pushes it down from the top of the actual uh, message banner. Uh, the close button, uh, you don't really have to worry about that. This kind of is just something I created with the jQuery. So if you click on the X, it kind of closes the banner so that um, you can actually see the actual content you want people to see on the page. 
and of course on the bottom you have a closing style tag and just below that is the closing head tag. Now we get to the body tag. As uh, discussed above, here's now actually the body div tags. Here's the div ID of trans underscore background, that's the actual background. The message banner spacer, which is above. The, me the message banner, which is the actual banner that you see. The close button that you can see is floating right on the banner itself. And then, of course, the content text, which is the actual coming soon. And just below that, you can see all the div tags that kind of close everything out. So basically, if you've paused the video and copied everything down and kind of put it into your own website, you'd basically get the same effect as you see here. Now, keep in mind, it might look a little bit different from browser to browser, but the illusion is going to be the same. Now, as you can see, I went ahead and put a um, if you if we go down to the message underscore banner underscore spacer, I went ahead and put a border of one pixel solid red just to kind of show you uh, the reasoning why I put this um, uh, this spacer here. It's so that it'll actually push the banner down into the middle of the screen. So as you can see in these div tags, the spacer is going to be um, exactly how big I want it to be as far as like height cons is concerned. And the reason why I put it at 30% um, instead of pixels is because as you kind of like expand, contract, uh, open uh, the, the window, it's going to actually, um, the percentage is actually going to help it float evenly or compensate evenly with the actual window when you close it. Now it's not going to be perfect, but the reason why you want to put it in 30% is like if you do a little bit of math and you divide from the top of the website to the bottom of the website and you cut it into thirds you'll get uh, what it comes out to be about 33.33333 infinity um, but I kind of uh, just kind of rounded it back down to about 30 percent from the top causing the banner to rest in the middle. Now it's not perfect but it's going to be good enough to kind of be the middle and this is of course going to vary from browser to browser. So that's the reason why you want to kind of put a spacer on top. I'm sure there's other better ways to do it, but this is the way I created it in this particular instance. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and found some good code, and you can take this and kind of create your own style. And I appreciate you watching. Happy coding.